The force released information about its Canada Day plans this week and once again, no fireworks. But there will be something spectacular in the sky for you and your family to enjoy. Claire Mackay, the Chief Communities Officer of the Forks North Portage Partnership, joins us now. Hi, Claire. Hi. Now, before we get to that show in the sky, how has the Forks been working to reimagine Canada Day? Well, I think, you know, what people saw last year, we had 30,000 people on site join us last year. It was, a, it was an evolution of the conversation about Canada Day. So, um, you know, we are acknowledging what our site's history is, uh, our place in our community, and the stories that are important to tell. So uh, what we began last year is what we are continuing this year. We've done a lot of community consultation through surveys, through Indigenous-led roundtables. And what you see this year is really well informed by what the public has asked us to do which is what what they uh, what did they ask you to do specifically well what specifically specifically what they wanted which is where the drone show comes in is they asked for uh, an element of celebration to end the evening so that's where Wilfred Buck and his celestial teachings um, which are ancient celestial teachings are going to be partnered with really cutting edge technology with a hundred drones so think of sort of a hundred colorful colorful orbs of light that are going to move up into the sky and tell a story, which is, you know, fireworks do sell, tell a story, but not in this way. And we'll have, uh, Wilfred is actually going to narrate the show as well. So you'll be able to hear that from all over the site. What we also heard was people were looking for more music. So we've brought back um, the idea of a stage. We're doing it in front of the Forks Market and we have programming starting at noon, running until 1030 and Manitoba Music has partnered with us to do that stage. Plus, we'll have stuff, what we learned from last year is people loved that we used the entire site. Um, we had used our site before, but we've never used it in quite the way we did last year. There'll be soccer games, there'll be beating workshops, um, tours, uh, picnic tables, food trucks, pretty much anything you can think of that you would like to do on Canada Day will be here for you. And you'll be able to sort of choose your own adventure as you move through the day. Choose your own adventure. We're showing a bit of an adventure right now. You're working with the company North Star Drone Shows to create this uh, telling of how the constellations came to be from the ancient knowledge of our indigenous peoples. Wilfred Buck will do mm -hmm. this. We're showing video right now from that same company. It's showing right now a big smiley face. Um, but, but it, on Canada Day, Wilfred Buck will be telling about the North Star. Yeah, right. it's the, a story that pretty home much star. everybody. Yeah, it's a story that pretty much everybody has some connection to. You know, we've we've learned about it in school. We've been to the planetarium to to learn about constellations. And so this is Wilfred's um, ancient knowledge of. Uh, he's uh, from a past way Cree nation. He uh, speaks from a Cree voice. And so he tells us what ancient teachings talked about with the North Star. It doesn't move. It is the one star in the, in the solar system that does not move, that is part of our orbit. And so telling that story of finding the North Star and the Big Dipper um, is really somewhat a universal story. But we're going to be putting his twist on it here. Well, I think that's just fantastic. I called it the coming home star. It's called the going home star. Um, and there's also something to encourage people to use their bicycles. Tell us what you're doing to keep people's bikes safe. Yeah, we know that there will be a lot of people here on Canada Day. Um, and so we really do encourage people to get here could be via transit, carpooling, uh, car co-op, but we do have a bike valet that will be set up on our site, so you'll be able to safely leave your bike here as well. Claire Mackay, thank you for your time today. Thanks so much.